वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भागवती उत्तम श्लोक तीर्वती नैष्टिकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर वर्स नंबर सिक्सटीन स्वभावतंत्र ही जन स्वभाव अनुवर्तते स्वभावस्थम सर्व सदेवासुरमाषम स्वभावतंत्र ही जन स्वभाव अनुवर्तते स्वभावस्थम सर्व सदेवासुरमाषम स्वभावतंत्रो ही जन स्वभाव अनुवर्तते स्वभावस्थम सर्व सदेवासुरमाषम स्वभावस्तंत्र ही जन माताएं Translation and purport by Shila Prabhupad. Shila Prabhupad ki sorry, uh, purport meaning first. Swabhava of his conditional nature. Tantra under the control. He indeed jana a person. Swabhavam his nature anuvartate follows. Swabhavastham. Based on conditioned propensities, idam, this world, sarvam, entire, sa, together with, deva, the demigods, asura, the demons, manusham, 
and human kind. Translation and purpose by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada, ki? Every indi repeat with me. Every individual is under the control of his own conditioned nature. And thus, he must follow that nature. This entire universe with all its demigods, demons and human beings is based on the conditioned nature of the living entities. Purport, Lord Krishna here elaborates upon the argument given in the previous verse. Since everything depends on Swabhava or one's conditioned nature, why bothering, why bother worshipping God or the demigods? This argument would be sublime if Swabhava or conditioned nature were all powerful. But unfortunately, it is not. There is a supreme controller and we must worship him. As Lord Krishna will emphatically reveal in this chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam. For now, however, he is content to tease his relatives. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnananjala Shalakaya Chakshun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatan Vitam Stam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalitha Shri Vishaka Vitamsha Namam Vishnu Padaya Shtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deva Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesh Shunyavadi Pashyate Deshatarine Namo Mahavada Nyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gauratu Senama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabho Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So, by taking the blessings of Srila Prabhupada, Guru Maharaj and Shiksha Guru and the Vaishnavas who are assembled here and one more person who has been my Patha Pradarshak Guru who showed me the path to come to Krishna Consciousness and just few days back he has left his body his guest Payanudhi Prabhu. So, 10 years back in Mumbai in Mulun Station, where I was searching for Srimad Bhagavatam, by mercy of Srila Prabhupada, I already read soft copy of Bhagavad Gita as it is, but I was not aware of ISKCON or is there any some, such institution. So, I was searching for Srimad Bhagavatam because many a times repeatedly Srila Prabhupada is writing in Bhagavad Gita that. You, one must read Srimad Bhagavatam, one must read Srimad Bhagavatam. And that's uh, higher studies. So I was searching for that. And fortunately, by Krishna's mercy, I met uh, Payonidhi Prabhu in Mulun Station. And I asked him, I want to read Srimad Bhagavatam. He said, uh, maybe deliberately he said, right now we don't have it. You come to the temple. So he used a trick. So come to the temple and... Uh, the same Sunday, December it was, 2012. 2011 December and first Sunday, uh, first time I visit was a Sunday. And then there was a series of meeting with him later on. Then finally after two weeks he gave me Srimad Bhagavatam set. After when I started chanting. The first time he gave me the chanting beats in the Mulun station. You have to chant. I was new for this and how to chant? I never done that. And, and I thought chanting means one has to wear saffron, saffron robes first. Then you have to chant. 
So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to wear saffron rose. I can't do that. I mean, I have family. You know, they are dependent on me, and I know that. So Pahanidhi was saying, no, no, no. You don't have to worry about that. You just stand. It's not necessary that you have to be like me. So, so today here, after 10 years, I'm here and uh, I'm still seeking blessings from Pahanidhi Prabhu and all the Vaishnavas assembled here. Thank you, Hare Krishna. So today, Srimad Bhagavatam. Chapter number 24, verse number 10. Here the verse, Swabhava tantrohi janha swabhava manuvartate Swabhavastam idam sarvam sadeva asura manusham So translation is, every individual is under the control of his own conditioned nature and thus he must follow that nature. And the entire universe with all its demigods, demons, human beings is based on the conditioned nature of the living entities. So, Parallelly, you know, same thing is repeated even in Bhagavad Gita. Shreyan Swadharma Vigunha Paradharma Swanushita Swadharma Nidhanam Shreya Paradharma Bhayavaha. So, whatever is our Swadharma, we have to do that. And rather than taking or accepting others' Dharma as Swadharma and doing that, better is to die or do in imperfectly our Swadharma or to die in that while doing that Swadharma. And especially this Swabhava, in 18th chapter also repeated many times this word. Samadama tapasaucham shanti rajam evacha jnana vijnana astikyam brahmaks karma swabhavajam Brahmanas, this is the Swabhava Brahmana. He will control his senses. He will not do sense gratification. He will do austerity. He will have knowledge scientific knowledge and ask him he will be worshipping Lord and he will be distributing that knowledge to everyone. That is Swabhava of Brahmana. Similarly, Kshatriya. Teja Shauryam Dhiti Daksham Yudhya Palayanam Dhanam Ishwara Bhava Kshatriya Karma Swabhavajam. Even Kshatriya, he is ready to fight any time. He will never show his back when it comes to fighting in the war. He is always charitable. So these are the Swabhava of Kshatriya. Krishi Gaurakshavani Jam Vaisha Karma Swabhava Jam. And Paricharyatma Kam Shudra Karma Swabhava Shudra Syapi Swabhava Jam. Maintaining cows, trade, commerce, that is done by the Marsalitali community, that is Vaishyas. That is a Vaishya Swabhava. And last is Shudra, who is serving all the Varanas, assisting them, that is Shudra Karma Swabhava Jam. So this Swabhava is repeated many times and here Lord Krishna, when he sees Nanda Maharaj and others are busy preparing for the Yajna of Lord Indra and he wants to now make them understand that it is not necessary to worship Indra. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna he says there is no need to worship demigods, other demigods. Why? Because finally they are worshipping me only but indirectly. Avidhi Purvakam. There is a way to eat food. Take a morsel and put it in your mouth. That is the usual way to eat food. But if someone is not able to eat food, then what? They use some pipe and through nasal channel, then they give some nutrition. But that is Avidhi. When it is not possible in usual way, then it is okay. Similarly, one who is not ready to worship Supreme Lord at all, he don't want to worship. Even after knowing things, he don't want, he don't have any faith on Lord, then at least he should be worshipping demigods and follow the rules and regulations, respect to rules and regulations. So that is the purpose. So it's not that if you don't worship Krishna, you will go to hell. That was not the, the, in Vedic scripture, this is not the business. Although we see there are some so-called religions we, which teaches this. If you don't worship the Lord, then you are to, go, going to hell. But Vedas are all inclusive. They respect the individ, individuality of each and every person. And that's why it includes everyone. So, here Krishna is trying to convince Nanda Baba and others, Vrajavasis, that there is no need to worship Indra Rather, we have to worship Govardhan. Now, 
he has used this karma mimamsa philosophy that karma is everything now whoever is going to read this only only this chapter only this particular section okay krishna is saying if you are doing good karma then you will get good results and if you are doing bad karma you will get bad results so lord is bound to give you the results so why you are worshiping lord better concentrate on the karma itself this karma mimamsa philosophy nowadays it is a karma hi puja hai hmm? what people take is that they take only the half sentence and they leave the half sentence karmani eva dikaraste everyone you know knows this particular line humko karma karne ka adhikar hai but what is the next line ma phaleshu kadachana you don't have right on the fruits but they leave this similarly they take only half which is they feel okay this is you know comfortable for me where i can you know have my sense gratification also so the purpose of getting doing sense gratification where there is soul they can take that verse particular verse of the section of the scriptures and they will say okay this is final yam imam pushpitam lokam pravidanti avipashitah vedavad ratha partha nanat asiti vadina there is nothing about this vedavadi people who are the so called followers of vedas they just read the karmal kand section and they feel okay this is the final destination going to heaven is the final destination that's it therefore perform yagyas to go to heaven to get a good birth in the family kamat mana swarga parma janma karma phala pradam kriya vishesh bahulam bhogeshwara gatim prati only bhog aish utan aish karo this word is must be coming from aishwarya <laughs> so so their only desire is to just eat meet and be married that's it so whichever verse whichever scriptural section will will you know give the give some nutrition to their purpose they will accept that and others they will leave this half knowledge half knowledge is dangerous no is common proverb now <clears throat> there was a doctor animal doctor and uh, one person called his horse was not well and there was swelling in his throat so he brought his horse to that particular animal doctor and then this animal doctor saw it he checked it okay he brought his hammer and he and the swelling is gone so the compound the thought oh such a nice business just hit the hammer and the swelling is gone even i can do that so similarly what he has done he left that job and he started his own business in his own village and he thought if horse swelling can be cured then what to talk about human beings even human beings ke to chhota swelling zyada kuch hota nahi hai horse ka kiya to fir so he says he declares that you know i am a doctor and i can cure anyone swelling so and that also i will do because free of cost starting me karenge then what will happen the business will go on then the demand will be more and then there will be publicity that's why free of cost first so he starts and the first patient comes with his swelling and he brings his hammer and he thak 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 and he hits hard and he that patient felt unconscious and almost he is died dying condition but still he saying he will get cure and he finally dies oh no what happened so he does a phone call to that particular doctor doctor uh, i have used your treatment but 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 uh, i was unsuccessful why why what is the reason behind this so what we have done and the person who was suffering from swelling and i have hit with a hammer are you are mad or what the horse was there was swelling in the horse throat not because there was he hurt or he got hurt with some some something he has eaten mash melon and that got stuck in the throat that's why was just was hitting slightly that mash melon got cut into pieces and then the swelling was gone the so called swelling was gone that was the real reason behind that so similarly without understanding the essence without understanding the internal meaning 
behind the statements given in the scriptures, if we are going to read, then there is a problem. Pathanti Chatura Veda Dharma Shastra Anekashaha Atmanam Naiva Jananti Davi Pakara Samyatha Niti Shastra says, if one is reading all the Vedas, all the four Vedas, all the Dharma Shastras he is expert in it, but Atmanam Naiva Jananti, he is not able to know his own identity. It's like Davi Pakara Samyatha, like a spoon. It is touching all the foodstuffs. If you ask the spoon whether it is salty or it is sweet, does the spoon will be able to tell that? No. The spoon is touching the food but not able to taste it. Similarly, a person who is reading all the scriptures but he don't know his real identity that he is the servant of Lord Krishna, he is a part and parcel of Lord Krishna, with that mood is, if he is not reading the scripture, is waste. Bahu Shastra Bahu Vakya Chitte Brahmahaya Sadhya Sadhana Sreshtha Nahaya Nishaya Shastre Rana Jani Marma Adhyapan Kare Gardhavali Prayayana Shastra Vahima Rehe Bahu Shastra, Bahu Vakya Chitte Brahmahaya. If you read too many scriptures, listen from too many people, you will get confused. And most of the time happens, you know, sometimes a person is too studious and is bookworm only. Don't have any practical realization. He's, he looks like a mad only sometimes. You know, if we fear also to associate with that person sometimes. Bahu Shastra, Bahu Vakya Chitte Brahmahaya, Sadhya Sadhana Sreshta. He don't know what is his goal, what is his goal and what is the process to attain that goal, he is confused with this only. Sambandha, Abhideya, Prayojana. This is what we are supposed to know. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explains Sanatana Goswami that there is Sambandha Gyan, there is Abhideya and Prayojana. Sambandha means one has to know that Krishna is the supreme personality of God and he is my real master. That is Sambandha Gyan. And Abhideya is the process to attain the supreme destination or the supreme Lord or Krishna Prem. That is Abhideya. And Prayojan is the final destination. So one should have proper knowledge of these three aspects also. Shastrena Jani Marma Adhyapana Kare. Without knowing the essence, if you are going to read scriptures, if you are going to study scriptures, there will be a problem. It's like a donkey who is taking all the luggage, so-called, you know, burden, there is no value to it. Similarly, a person who knows all the scriptures, all the knowledge, is just taking a burden of the scriptures. Gardhavali prayana shastra vahimare. The scriptures dies. The essence of the scripture die there. So that's why even if you read Bhagavad Gita, if you read any Srila Prabhupada's book, especially Bhagavad Gita as it is, from the introduction onwards, Prabhupada mentions that if you don't consider Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead, your effort of understanding Bhagavad Gita is in vain. Shri Shri Nadaraj Bihari Bhagwan Ki Shri Shri Sitaram Lakshman Bhakta Hanuman Ki Shri Shri Gaunitai Bhagwan Ki Shri La Prabhupada Ki Jai So if you don't understand the essence that Krishna is a supreme personality of Godhead, if you don't know this principle first, and if you start reading the scriptures, there is a risk of getting confused. Or there is a risk of losing, or losing somewhere else. You know, you are lost then in the scriptures. So that's why it's very important taking the association of devotees and reading the scriptures. Or taking, or coming, taking the shelter of a spiritual master and the guidance of the spiritual master read the scriptures. So here, Lord Krishna is using a tricky way to get the purpose solved. Why the Vrajavasis are busy, you know, in this worshipping a demigod that also? There is a purpose that to break the ego of Indra, that is a different purpose. But at the same time, Krishna is a possessive god. He don't want to share love with anyone. Attention, he wants attention only. Only, if, if at all you want to be attentive, attentive be attentive only on me. Nothing else. So that's why 
Krishna is using a tricky way to get the purpose solved. Worship Govardhan. Now he is not using the tricky way to misdirect them. Finally, they will end up worshiping Krishna only in the form of Govardhan. As such, it's not nothing new because we are worshiping Krishna in different ways. Krishna in the form of book, Srimad Bhagavatam. We are worshiping it, right, by reading it daily. Krishna in the form of devotee, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna in the form of stone. What is that? Shila. Shaligram Shila. Similarly, Krishna in the form of mountain, Govardhan. So he is not misdirecting any way. He is using a tricky way just to get again to increase the Mahima, glory of Govardhana. <clears throat> so these tricky ways are not only used by Krishna but he is used by even the Acharyas. When Dhruva Maharaj left his house, he was, he felt insulted and he left his house and now I, don't, I want to, I want some way to get my things done. So on the advice of his mother, Suniti Mata, he goes, he wants to go to the forest where to worship Lord Vishnu. And while going to the forest, Narad Muni comes, comes there. And Narad Muni says, what you are doing? Where you want to go? So he says, you know, I want to worship Vishnu because I want a biggest kingdom. I want to show them, you know, how, you know, if they have insulted me, I want a biggest kingdom. kingdom. That is my, I am very affected with the insult. That's why. So Narad Muni says, this is not your age, no? A Narad Muni who is a Bhagavat, who is a, one of the greatest devotee and an Acharya and Mahabhagavat, he is preaching to Udhruva that don't worship Lord Vishnu now. Because this is not your right age. Just imagine now Narad Muni coming here and say, if he's saying, no, don't do this. We will not be able to deny, no? He is Mahabhagavat, he is saying this, no? Now Dhruva Maharaj is explaining, don't do, this is not your age. This is not age. So this, this side of dialogue is coming from those times only. This is not your age. Narmuni started this. <laughs> this is not your age to, you know, perform Bhagavat, you know, perform Bhagavat, uh, this Lord's worship, Vishnu worship, because many sages have tried this. They have not got successful. They are not successful. Even Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Manushyanam Sahasreshu Kashin Yatati Siddhaye Yatatam Api Siddhanam Kashin Mamveti Tatvata. Among thousands and lakhs of people, someone wants to make his life perfect. Even among them, someone, rare person will achieve me or he will take my shelter. So Narad Muni says, this is not possible. See, so many big people have not achieved it. What you can do? Hmm? Right now, this is the age of playing. You know, you play now. Same Narad Muni who taught Prahlad Maharaj and Prahlad Maharaj says, Kaumara acharat pragya dharman bhagwata niya. Durlabham manusham janma tadapi adhruvam arthadam. Bhagwat dharma, one should be trained in Bhagwat dharma from four years of four to five years of age. Kaumara machrit pragya. Because this human life is uncertain. We don't know till when, when we are going to live and when we are going to die. Adi Shankarajara says, Bala stavat krida sakta, taruna stavat taruni asakta. Vridhastavat chintagrasta para brahmani kopina sakta. When you are in childhood, you are busy playing, krida sakta. Tarunistavat taruniya sakta. And when you are young, you are after a girl. Or girl after a boy or a boy after a girl. Busy in it. Texting messages, busy talking on phone. Nowadays we observe, no? Vridhastavat chintagrasta. And one when becomes old, He's taking all the burden. He can't do anything practically, but just taking burden. Taking all the tension. Whole time is spent in that. Para Brahmani Kopini Sakta. When is the time? Where is the time to attain Supreme Lord, to worship Supreme Lord? Where is that time? Time has gone. 
And the problem with the Kali Yuga nowadays is that Bala Stavad is also Chintagrasta. Not only Krida Sakta, he is Chintagrasta also. Are you tuition ka homework hai? Ye hai, ye class jana hai, wo class jana hai. From Bala Stavad is Chintagrasta. And from now only, due to uh, thanks for the movies and Bollywood culture, the small children are also trained in this. How to become attached to a girl and all that. So, Bala Stavad, Taruni Sakat, Bala Stavad, Chintagrasta, Krida Sakta, everything. So from beginning only, so there, is, there will be a change, now our changes due to this Kaliyuk impact. So that is a problem, that's for so much disturbance. And so there is no time to attain for 16 round chanting or practicing Krishna consciousness. Often this is the reason people give, no, I don't have time. So the same teaching, same syllabus, the syllabus of Bhagavat was taught to Prahlad, Bhakta Prahlad in the womb of mother. And the same Narad Muni is preaching something else to Dhru Maharaj. This is not the age. Don't do this. You know, you cannot do this. Now, Bhagwat, Mahabhagwat is demotivating. But what is the reaction of Dhru Maharaj? No. You want to teach me? Then teach. Help me. Otherwise, I will take, go on my own way. Okay? If you want to do the you know, right business, if you want to help me, help me out. Otherwise, you are on your way, I am on my but this is the conviction. Krishna, yes, Vishnu can do that. What no one can else that, no one else can, can't do this, Vishnu can do this. Lord Krishna can do this. That conviction Dhru Maharaj had. Similarly, same tricks has been used by Shukracharya also. When Vamana Dev was in front of Bali Maharaj and he is asking three steps, that's three steps. I'm not, you know, greedy, okay? That's three steps. So using a tricky way to, you know. So Narad Muni, uh, Shukracharya says, don't do that, don't give, I'm warning you. I'm your guru and I'm advising you. But Bali Maharaj denies his advice. He, he rejected that advice. Lord is coming to beg me, why I will leave this chance? So that's why Bali Maharaj rejected Guru's advice and, he, and his tricky things and he accepts and he accepts what Lord Vishnu is saying. So if the purpose is solved, in which way you are teaching or in which way per, you are bringing a person to Krishna consciousness, that doesn't matter then. If the purpose is solved. There is some proverb, no? The ends, if the what means and ends, if the means ends, is all? All's well, that ends well. If the purpose is achieved, there is no problem. Similarly, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also, he also used some tricky ways. When he meets Prakashnanda Saraswati, and now he wants to convince a Mayavadi, now what we'll think, you know, if we are going to meet Mayavadi and you want to convince them, we will debate, right? Directly we will debate. You know, aap apka shastra lo, apna shastra se baat karta But the problem is that Mayavadis will don't, we don't think that we are eligible for the debate. That is the problem of the Mayavadis. Mayavadis think, that they are, you know, this Srimad Bhagavatam, they read, Bhagavadita read, that's it, you know. They don't have knowledge of Vedanta. And Vedanta means Sharirik Bhashya of Shankaracharya. There is no other authority. They, they think. They even reject the Vedanta Bhashya of Vyasdev also. Vyasila Vyasdev ji. Sarva Vedanta Saram hi Shri Bhagavatam Mishyate. In Srimad Bhagavatam, last chapter it is said, Sarva Vedanta Saram hi Shri Bhagavatam Mishyate. Vedanta ka sari Srimad Bhagavatam hai. But Mayavadis don't. They don't entertain only. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very clever in that. You know, he comes there. And wherever the feet are washed, he sits there only. This is a trick. How to, you know, if you want to conquer someone, by your behavior you can, by your way of speaking, by your behavior only you can conquer that person. And you, you won the half of the battle only then. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sat there where 
unclean place and with full effulgence and he has displayed his brahma jyoti brahmano hi pratishtasa pratishtaham krishna says in bhagavad gita that brahma jyoti comes from him only and the same brahma jyoti which for which attraction is um, all the mayavadis are attracted with that the same brahma jyoti displayed by chaitanya mahaprabhu and they got shocked they got astonished and they are just looking at chaitanya mahaprabhu oh, he's so attractive but why is sitting there prakashananda saraswati goes there and he says why you want to sit there you come and sit with us you are a sanyasi and he holds his hand chaitanya mahaprabhu's hand and he brings him on that particular floor where every all sanyasis are sitting and he make made him sit with them so earlier chaitanya mahaprabhu is denying no 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 i am not on your level you know i will sit here only but no prakashananda saraswati no 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 you are such a nice sanyasi and then there is an argument that prakashananda saraswati you are such a nice sanyasi such a jubilee as if you are narayan itself because mayavadi is thing everyone is narayan and when you take sanyasi you become narayan so he take considering at least chaitanya mahaprabhu as narayan so looking like a narayan why you want to you know why you are dancing and only doing kirtan and crying that is only that is not the business of the sanyasi the business of the sanyasi is to read vedanta so chaitanya mahaprabhu now takes the bat in his hand now it's my turn to bat <laughs> first he bowled and they were clean bowled and now it's my turn to bat now so chaitanya mahaprabhu says murkha tumi to mar nahi ka वेदांत अधिकार कृष्ण मंत्र जप सदा हे मंत्र सार सो स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ही से इज माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर श्रीलेश्वरपुरी हैड कंसिडर मी अ फुलिश पर्सन अ फुलिश स्टूडेंट यू आर नॉट एन इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट चैतन्य महाप्रभु हु आर सच अ ग्रेट स्कॉलर हु हैज डिफिटेड केशव कश्मीरी एंड अदर पंडित्स now he is considering himself as foolish that also genuinely now there is no such incidence where ishwara puri is chastising chaitanya mahaprabhu there is no such incidence in, there is nowhere in any scripture but still chaitanya mahaprabhu is making such incidence made, making up this incidence tricking you know is prakashananda saraswati krishna mantra yai mantra sara krishna mantra japa sada my spiritual master you don't deserve you know you don't you are not eligible to read vedanta sutra you better you chant krishna's holy name that is the essence of everything krishna mantra haite habe sansar mochana krishna mantra haite pabe krishna racharana nama vina kali kale नाही आर धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ये शास्त्र मर्म सो माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर सर्स यू डोंट यू आर नॉट एलिजिबल टू रीड वेदांत सर यू यू ओनली चैन द होली नेम ऑफ द कृष्ण डैट ऑल्सो लाउडली यू चैन द होली नेम ऑफ कृष्ण बिकॉज कृष्ण मंत्र हईते है बे संसार मोचन बाय कृष्णस मंत्र बाय चैंटिंग कृष्णस मंत्र यू विल अचीव you will be liberated from the clutches of birth and death that is the purpose of mayavadis you know they want to get liberated and the same purpose can be attained by krishna's by chanting krishna's name krishna naam haite habe sansara mochana krishna te haite pabe krishna ne charana and by krishna's holy name only if you chant you will get the lotus feet of lord krishna also सो नाम विना कलु नाम विनु कली काले नाही आर धर्म एंड दिस कलयुग सी यू पीपल आर बिजिंग इन रीडिंग स्क्रिप्चर्स बट इन दिस कलयुग दिस इज द रूल नाम विना कली काले नाही आर धर्म देर इज नो अदर धर्म सर्व मंत्र सार नाम ये शास्त्र मर्म शास्त्र का मर्म द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल स्क्रिप्चर्स इफ इट ऑल इट इज देयर एंड देन इट इज चैंटिंग द होली नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण that is what my my, my guru maharaj told and i am going to follow him only i am as such i don't have my brain 
so i'm going to follow him and then there is a further discussion and then chaitanya mahaprabhu gradually gradually he starts refuting all the arguments of prakashananda saraswati and due to chaitanya mahaprabhu's charisma and his influence and his genuineness and his humility they got so attracted and so influenced they all become the disciples of chaitanya mahaprabhu shila chaitanya mahaprabhu ki so this is the way you know tricking sometimes lying is also there ah, even krishna is saying that this karma mimansa philosophy he is showing as if the karma mimansa philosophy is the superior but he himself refuting it in when it comes to shrimad bhagavatam if you see same shrimad bhagavatam in 11 canto he refutes that na sadhayeti mam yogo na sankhyam dharma uddhava yatha bhaktir mam urjita he says to uddhav there is no other path to achieve me neither sankhya yog neither karma yog neither dhyan mark neither gyan mark nothing can achieve me only yatha bhaktir mam urjita only bhakti can so here krishna is trying to convince nand maharaj but we have to understand he is not misdirecting at all he is just trying to increase the attachment towards lord krishna more and more and so that they will be connected to him and him only that is the possessive of lord krishna possessiveness of lord krishna so <clears throat> here i will stop if at all any questions you have you can ask shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ki shri la prabhupad ki jai hari krishna any questions if you have you can ask <clears throat> ओके गंथराज श्रीमद श्रीमद भागवतम की शिल प्रभुपाद की